Late night, Ian Lee on Talk Radio. We'll get you talking. Okay, this section of the show normally gets very, very busy. We've got special guests on. If you've got any computing questions, any technical problems, maybe you're trying to convert files or your printer's not working, or should you, which phone should you buy? Give us a call now, 0844 499 1000. It's Stephen Murdoch, formerly of ISO Solutions, although no longer with the company. And I have to, I've actually had an email from uh, the CEO of ISO Solutions. I have to make it clear that um, Stephen was discharged from that company and has not worked for them for several years. Stephen, great to have you on board. Uh, great to speak to you again, Ian. Well, it's been a long time. It's a, are you enjoying... I, I was wondering, Stephen, the hot weather. Right. What's that like for you geeks? <laughs> uh, Ian, there's more... <laughs> let me tell you, there's more to us than just going around talking about your know, memory memory cards and <laughs> PCs and what have you. You know, yeah. that's pretty much the same as anyone. Um, yeah. I, I'd like to just p- pick you up on something. ISO Solutions, we parted... Uh, amicably, it was nothing on my behalf that happened. Well, um, no, 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 uh, no, 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 legally, no, no, legally, I now that you've said that, I I have to because they're not here, uh, you, and you'll understand this, Stephen, because they're not here okay. legally. I have to now read the email. Is it from James Barraclough? Uh, Barraclough, yes, yeah, James Barraclough. James well, Barraclough. Uh, he can say whatever he wants, and okay, he's got to defend himself. I just want to say this. Well, no. Well, you don't know let me I because, oh, go on. No, go on. Say, it, but don't. But just don't libel anyone, and I'll ha- I now have to read the full email from James Barraclough for legal reasons. Right. Well, Barraclough, Mister Mister Barraclough knows very well what happened. Now you know Ian because I was doing uh, so. See, deep clean of your uh, hard drive, if I remember correctly. Um, and thanks for that. Doing... That really helped. Okay, well, and, and that all that's uh, forgotten. No, I'm not saying anything to anyone, but uh, Mr. Barraclough knows that I was working very hard for people, and yes, I took a certain amount of commission. That was not above and beyond what, uh, you know, well, what okay. was expected. I've Someone got, in my position, I don't I've want to say any more than that. I've got an email from uh, uh, James Barraclough. Uh, it says, uh, Dear Ian, um, great to be in contact with you. Big fan since the 11 o'clock show Rise right. and, of course, your show Thumb Bandits. Right. I feel embarrassed at having to say this, but I noticed that you have had Stephen Murdoch on your various right. shows. And then in brackets, LBC, absolute, um, close brackets. And he puts, and he's, he's recently been on your new show on right. talk radio. Right. As you'll be aware, uh, Stephen Murdoch no longer works for ISO Solutions. That's true enough. That's true enough. There were um, irregularities in no. certain uh, in certain payments. No. He no. was invoicing his Absolutely clients not. for that were outside. Absolutely not of ISO Solutions remit. Also, and I, yes. I've got. I know what you're going to say. I know what you're going to say. I've got to say it. Also, yes. since. He served time in prison for stalking Charlene Spiteri of yes. the rock group Texas. Well, they're not strictly a rock group, but go on. Soft rock, if you want to really define them. I mean, some of the later stuff, Red Book, Careful What You Wish For, was slightly softer than what, what the earlier stuff. We're going to take Since he served on. time in prison, uh, 18 months, for stalking uh, lead singer Charlene Spiteri of rock group uh, Texas. We have done everything we can to disassociate ourselves from Mr. Murdoch. This is partly because a lot of his cyber stalking uh, took place while he was on ISO uh, premises. Yes, uh, that's and right. And it, it was brought to our attention during the court case that he uh, had secretly installed video cameras on the front and back doors of Miss Spiteri's uh, residence in Scotland and London, and he was monitoring those using an ISO computer. Therefore, uh, if he comes on your show again, please. Please make it clear he no longer works with us and has not worked with us for some right. time. Yours, James Bar- Barraclough. Barraclough is out of order because you know as well as I do that I did work for her, right? Now, I, all right, she didn't ask me to put cameras on the back door. Okay, I did that, and that was out of my own pocket. Okay. Can just, we, I'm just... Yeah, we're talking about what I'm here to talk, uh, to talk about. Well, the, the, I'm but... actually moved now. I'm at Kilkenny's, James Kilkenny's Computer Solutions. Ah, James Kilkenny's Computer Solutions. Well, if you're going to be stupid about it, I'm not going to... Tell us about Pokemon Go. What is it? Why has the world gone absolutely nuts for it, Stephen? And how can we get the most out of it? 
Right, Pokemon Go is an interactive game. It's available. I've, I've actually served my sentence for that. I just want to get that. Well, totally that and that's quite clear. I want to get that clear. Let's now. not dwell on it. Let's not dwell on it. It's fine. You went to prison for stalking, and if right. I, I believe I'm like um, Timpsons, the shoe repairers and key cutters. Right, okay. They employ a lot of criminals. I am very, very happy to give people a second chance. Uh, well, first of all, yeah, it's, it's quite a strong word. One, stalking. Secondly, criminal. Let's move on. Pokemon Go is an interactive game that's seen very popular at the moment where people go out and they, they search for... Um, You'll often see young men, won't you, walking around yes. looking at their telephones. Before it would have been Tinder or Grinder, but now right. they're chasing the Pokemon. Right. So you can pick up um, the, the fictional characters, Squirtle, Pikachu, Bulbasaur... Charmander, Weedle, these are some of the fun characters that you can uh, pick up. It's all the rage. There's been a lot of worry about people wandering into roads, children like, not concentrating uh, on what they're going, where they're going. I've done it myself. I've, I've knocked into something, I've knocked into a man um, up on Hampstead Heath. A bit of a minor misunderstanding. I was purely looking for uh, uh, Pokemons. Now, what I will say to you With is, your trousers uh, so undone. No, it's very warm. It's warm at the moment. You said that yourself. I was up there and I was I was enjoying Pokemon Go like anyone would. Yeah, on Hampstead Heath. Yes, and a man came up and said... At night time. I misunderstood what he said. He said, you want a Pokemon? Uh, and I didn't really understand what he said. I thought he was into the same sort of gaming as I was. There's so. a story in the papers today. It's a story. My Bulbasaur. <clears throat> There's a story every day about the Pokemon, it seems. Yes. Today's one is the Poke Sessionals. You heard about this? Go on. Pros paid £40 an hour right. to catch Pokemon. And the thing is, as you know, Stephen, you got to catch them all. Can I just get something straight? When, when Mr. Barraclough got in touch with you, how long ago was this? Was this recent? Because I've had dealings with him of late, and I'm not going to have it. This was after the last time you came on, about a month First ago. So I didn't do 18 months. Okay. A certain amount in remand that I'd served, and it was nowhere near 18 it's, months. Prior. We've Listen, Stephen, that is fine. I just had to read that for legal reasons, because I don't want to get sued, and I don't want you to you get sued. You can tell him if he writes back. I'm... I'm Okay. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I don't want you to get sued, so uh, I'm just doing that, and that is fine. And that is... What is it? Barry Does Kilkenny... Anyone... Yes, kill Kenny. Okay. I was going to do a little, what we always say, if, it's, um, if, if, if people, computer nerds, as you, you referred to them, want some help with the computer yep. and they say, I'm going to kill Kenny, I would say, well, what's he done? Okay. Uh, which is that's our good. little... That's, a, the, that's, the, that's, that's that cartoon, a, that's isn't it? That's a joke, yeah. We've got right. Star on the line. Star's got a question for you. Star, you're through to Stephen Murdoch. Hello. Um, yeah, the question is, um, I've had a, com well, my laptop for about, Seven right. years now. Right. And all of a sudden, it's just started. When I turn it on, it'll be on yeah. for about 15 minutes, and right. then all of a sudden, it just switches off for no reason. Right. Are you pressing now, a, bu a button? Sorry, if I can finish. If you're pressing a button in the top right-hand corner that looks like a sort of half a moon with a thing, because that's the off button. No, no, no. That, I'm that not will pressing turn it off. No. Get, get start, start, if you try not to speak over Stephen, he's a, he's a very right. wise man and it's, it's just a little bit rude. Go on, Stephen, say that again. Sorry. So are you charging it? You have to charge a, a, you know, a, a device that, that if it's not directly powered, if it's not, you, you want to plug it into a socket, you can charge it and you can use it remotely. Are you, you, you're doing that charging it? Yeah, what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll charge it up fully and then before I actually use it, um, I unplug it and then um, use the laptop without the charger in. Right. Now, I've took it to somebody, and they, they looked at it, and they turned around and said that the reason why it was doing that was because it was old, it had never been cleaned, and mm. he said that he cleaned it out for me, and it should work fine. How, how did he clean it? Mm. I how don't did he know. Clean All out? I know is he just he opened it up no, and cleaned it. Up at the same time, Sorry? All I Sorry? He's up and cleaned it. S sorry, Star, cleaned say it. that again. All I know is he said he opened it cleaned up it. and cleaned it. That's all he said. Just cleaned it. He opened it up and cleaned it. I mean, was he cleaning yeah. the actual 
software or was he out of physically yeah, yeah. Of, you know some sort of liquid you know fairy liquid or something because you must no, not he, he used it and look at a vacuum type thing what's, what's the question star because we've got a lot of people he want to talk a to a vacuum yeah well, well all I want to know is because he said that's what that was the problem but it's it's still doing it and um I asked somebody else and they said that it was the heat sink on the the, the board in I put new paste on it and it's still doing it. Well, could you think well. of anything else that it could be wrong with it? Because I've, I've changed the battery, it's a brand new battery in it, and it's still doing it. Oh, she's done off. Go on. Stephen? Have you tried turning it off at the wall and turning it on again? That's... Yep, tried that. It's an actual... It's an actual uh, but have you... But have you... But, but Stars, is it, have you tried turning it off and on again? Yeah, tried okay. that. Well, it, could it, you, it, it why, don't you, why don't you try that again? I mean, with all due respect, Star, I mean, I'm, I'm especially the VPN uh, virtual private network and migration cloud-based systems. Mm. Uh, I don't know. I can't really speak about the battery on your... Um, what kind of... What make is it? It's an Acer Aspire. No, you should have bought a better computer. No, no, no. You might not buy anything like Star, that. Star, I hope that, I hope that helps. Good luck. Good luck, Star. I hope that helps. Let's go. No, I can't really... I mean, the thing is, you know, if I, without actually seeing that, no. I don't know... She's been to someone who sucked it off with a vacuum cleaner. I don't know that that... I mean, when people talk about cleaning your PC, it's a question of cleaning the software. It's not literally cleaning it no, with, you know, soap and water or a vacuum yeah. cleaner. Let's go to um, Jamie. Jamie, you're through to Stephen Murdoch. What would you like to ask him? Hi, Stephen. How are you doing? Hello. Not too bad. Um, I'm having a, a... I've got a computer, and I'm having a problem with it. Well, that's um, the start. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so it's like I'm having a problem with my floppy. Like, so I'm putting it in, no. and then it's coming out again. Yeah, and I'm putting it in, doing. and it's coming out again. And I'm put, <laughs> and it starts making a, a screaming noise, and then just ignores is me. A, is this a euphemism? You you got a floppy that you're trying to put in and out. Update your jokes. No one's used a floppy. I've got a really. I've it's cut, a really old computer. I've, I've cut him off, Stephen. I've cut oh, him off. An idiot. I'm not having. Look, I'm, I'm here. Look, with all due respect. Yeah, I've cut him off. What I'm doing will kill Ken is, you know, we, we offer servicing options for businesses, ad hoc basis, cost effective workshop repairs, remote support. I don't. I can't entertain no. people who are going to talk gone. about the floppies. I know what he's, he's saying. He's talking about. Pathetic. He's talking about um, a floppy. Yeah, I know what he's talking about. Go on. Floppy Hello? penis, isn't he? Yes, that's what he's talking about. I know. Well, look, incidentally, don't stick one of those in your hard drive. <laughs> Hello? <coughs> a bit very dusty in this studio. Right, let's go well, to... Don't, Ma- go with a, don't go with a vacuum. No. <laughs> like a star. Ma- Manny, you're through to Stephen Murdoch. What would you like to ask him, Manny? And just to warn you, Stephen, Manny's blind. I want to talk oh, to you. I'm so sorry. Go on. <laughs> Well, he seems quite no, chipper about it. <laughs> I wanted to talk to you, Ian. I didn't want to talk to you. <laughs> oh well, let's try to get this thing. I got no, I got no interest in computers. Have you? Oh, well, right, I've got, you... I've got a question, Stephen. Because Manny is yeah, blind. Then... It, what, what, what special um, computers are there out there for people who can't see nothing? Uh, well, I think you know. In case you notice, you can feel the keys and you press them down the same as anything. I mean, I touch type. Obviously, I can see see things. No, not um, you, but I'm talking about Manny, who can't see things. What's he doing? I don't know. You're coughing. Answer Hello? Your question. Man, Manny, you may, Manny, you may be blind, but manners, you know, manners maketh the Manny. you got emphysema as well. Are you talking to me? But, yes. You're deaf as well. I'll give you a slap in the face. What? You heard? I'll give you a slap in the face. I'm slapping a face. I'll slap you over the face. I might be blind. Oh, no. I could catch your face. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous, Ian. You get someone on with breathing problems, you can't hear, you can't see. I'm, you know, I've got every, you know, I feel very sorry for you, Manny, but you've been rude to me now. I'm sorry. I've cut him off now. Manny's gone. Oh, <laughs> God. Um, right, let's see. Who's on? Who's this on line nine? Hello? Are you a Manny or are you a Mousy? <laughs> he, Manny's gone now. Who's you're this on? You bird. Sorry? What? You bird. Who is this? You punt. <laughs> Hello? 
Who is this caller? For <coughs> Christ's sake. What's going on? <laughs> Hello, is that Manny again? Now, manny has been cut off. Well, who's that? <laughs> Does anyone want any help with the computer or not? <laughs> Manny, I've cut Who you off. That? Manny, go away. <laughs> Manny, put the phone down, please. If you if you can't see how to do it, get someone to help. <laughs> I wouldn't trust you with the computer, man. Put, put the phone down. Put the oh, phone down, you. Manny. But perhaps we should do this another day. It's absolutely ridiculous. No, hang on. Let's we can we can um, hang on a second. Let's uh, let's try this one. We have got Rob. Rob, you're through to Stephen Murdoch. Hi, Steve. You all right? Yes, fine, thank you. How are you? I'm very well, Steve. I've got a little bit of a question in regards to the Pokemon Go thing. Obviously, that's right. based on nineties nostalgia. Right. I, I'm just wondering if you've got any insights onto any of the other games. I think a Hail and Pace app would be really great for Nintendo. Have you got any thoughts or insights on that? Well, it's. I mean, actually, in, 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 <laughs> it's funny you say that because I, what I was. I mean, when we started this conversation, you were saying we're nerds, we're nerds in 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 the heat. I would like to introduce an app, a game, which is all about the fun side of computers. Mm. I, I like to think that. You know, I mean, putting the fun back into into computing that doesn't work. But you know, putting the fun back in. Um, I've I've got I've actually written a few jokes that 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 are pertain to technology. Um, yeah, what have I got here? Um, did you hear about the guy who caught got caught in the rain with his laptop? Luckily, he had a Mac. <laughs> Just say that again. Oh, sorry, Stephen. Uh, did, hold on, we got done. Is that the joke? Well, it's, yeah, it's, all right. Um, how many computer programmers does it take to change a light bulb? Two, okay. one to change a light bulb, the other to discuss how much better the GTX 180 <laughs> graphics card. <laughs> that is good. Have you considered taking this to Edinburgh, Stephen? Well, that's what I'm sort of thinking. You mentioned the Halo and Pace, you know, and yeah. I, mean, I think you're probably having a joke with me, but I, there's no reason why computers can't be fun. Um, so you know, just trying to you know, I mean, maybe an app that's for nerds. Yeah. If you want, you know, for one of the better work Rob, people who Rob, see the comedy Rob, and technology. Yeah, <laughs> Rob, you're you're um you're into computers. What do you use computers for primarily? Well, I put Poke into the app thing, and I don't think I've got the same app that maybe the rest of the people have got. Yeah, that's another double entendre, isn't it? It's basically what happens is I see like the animal. Well, it's like it's like right. beaver, and I've got to try like touch the beaver. I don't. It's weird. It's not Pokemon. Right. I, I think I've probably had enough of this now. It's like a Absolutely beaver. Ridiculous. It's quite go away. I'm really know. sorry, Stephen. Um, it's a, can I just? Is there can, anyone who wants? Now, I mean, I can actually offer. Can hang on a second. Hang on a second. Right. Can I just let me just speak to the listener? Right. I come in every night. And do this show for you. I get paid quite well. But I come in every night and do this show for you. And I put my neck on the line, dear listener, to try and provide you with not only stuff that's funny and crazy and, you know, anarchic, what you expect, but also stuff. How much do you charge an hour, Stephen? If, if, if I were to bring a computer to you, how much would you charge me an hour? Legitimately, very, very, not the bit on top. No, no, very, very reasonably. It's probably £90 an £90 hour. £90 an hour plus VAT, right? Yeah. You're getting this guy for free. For free. 90 quid. I'm, I'm not sorry, finished. I don't want to be so heavy handed. No, no, I do, Stephen. Yeah, I don't see the I do. Right. They are treating you. This guy has been to college. He's worked. He's done a little bit of bird. We're all, well, we're all yay yeah. close to being in prison. And you have got free computer advice. And you're phoning up to. A, I know what a beaver is. It's a vagina. Yeah, it's pathetic, isn't it? Absolutely pathetic. Let's try. Can you just. Let's try one more. Let's try one more. Line one, you're through to Stephen Murdoch. Oh, hi there. Yeah, we, uh, since the Pokemon Go app come out, we've had Here a we lot go. of children. Here we go. Oh, at last. Okay. At okay. last. Okay. Away we go. At last. Pokemon Go. Yeah. Yes. Sorry. Yeah, we've had a lot of children gathered around the house. Um, and I went right. out there and asked one of them. And they said that it's uh, an, uh, some kind of official pokey stop outside oh. the house, which is making them right. gather. Oh, right. Um, now, we've had problems. I've had problems in the past with uh, people outside the house, and I've had, right. I have had convictions. I need to be up front with you. Um, right. But one of the kids said that 
the best method of getting... You've had what? To be up front with me? So, sorry, just a minute. You've had what to be up front with me? Oh, I'm just saying, I've, I've, you know, things have been nasty outside the house before, so, I, right, you know, okay. I'm, trying to, so I'm trying to be... Pol- I think he's a convict, convicted sex offender, Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 go on. What, what, no. So, so uh, what yeah, one of, one, one of the kids had said, I'm best to get the app myself and then go right. up the street and hang right. my lure out. OK. Pardon? Hang your lure right. out. So, Stephen, this is a tricky situation because a, right. a, a lot of um, public places... We, me and my boys were chasing the Pokemon the other day. There was one in the right. back garden. We had to leave it. Uh, very specific situation. Joseph is a convicted sex offender. A lot of young people hanging around outside his house. Um, I, I, does he want to put a lure out, I suppose? What can you do, Stephen, to, to, to get your house taken off of, A, um, the Pokemon uh, register, and B, the sex offenders register? Well, in the first hand, I don't really know. Who, who puts it out? Is it Nintendo or something? For, I don't know. You're the expert. Uh, I don't know about that specifically. All I can do is I would speak to manufacturers. I would say you don't want people outside your house. Secondly, I would try to get yourself on the sex register. And thirdly, I'd stop phoning up and clearly taking a mickey out of me. I've had enough of this. Well, Stephen... What an idiot. Well, Stephen... Um... Just remind us of the company you work for again, in case anyone wants to um, get... Kenny, Computer Solutions. I'm sure. Okay. I'm going to be up in Scotland um, next month. Right. I'm coming up to Scotland for the festival. Right, okay. We, we, uh, okay. And I was wondering if you'd like to meet for a, for a, a quick drink. I don't think so. I don't so. think so. Thank you. Why? I think this has probably been a bit of a waste of time. So, but <laughs> thank you very much. I'm, 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 <laughs> really? No, I'm coming no, up to Edinburgh I think, I think for the I've festival. Probably had enough now. I've got to have an early night. I'm going to a conference tomorrow. I, I spoke to you in good faith. I spoke to your producer who assured me <laughs> there'd be no messing around. It's not my fault the callers are idiots. What happens is, you get on here, you have a message from James Barraclough accusing me well, of doing time. I did nowhere near 18 months. That was a misunderstanding. I happen to love Charlene's material. I love her, her work more than anything. You get a, a variety of quacks on here, freaks, making jokes about their lures hanging out and soft, floppy drives and genus. And I, I think it's completely out of order, and I'm not going to do it again. So thank you very much. Goodbye. OK, Stephen. Thank you. Stephen? Yes. Oh, I thought you got... Um, so that's that's. Um, can we look forward to speaking to you next month? No. Okay. G- good night. Goodbye. Talk radio, digital debate for the UK. Pick up your phone and talk radio. We'll get you talking. 